This is Twit. For as much as I love my Pixel Book, I fully realize it has spoiled me. Yeah, I know that Chromebooks are really good at being dirt cheap. Many of them strike in that pricing sweet spot of between eh, two to four hundred dollars. But it's really hard for me to accept that Chromebook has to always equal cheap build quality. What can I say? I prefer the Chrome OS experience because 95 percent of what I do involves little more than a web browser and I prefer to have a nicely built piece of hardware to run it on. Thankfully, there are some Chromebooks that aim to check both boxes, and that is the case with the new Acer Chromebook 13 CB713, mostly. So it's targeted at business users, and really, it's portable enough. It, it's compact enough. It's three and a half pounds, so not super heavy. I've definitely felt heavier, though not as svelte when you compare it to the much thinner and I'd say a little tiny bit lighter uh, pixel book that I use on a daily basis. Uh, the Chromebook 13 has an all aluminum design. You can kind of see there's some chamfered edging around the edges here. I'll go ahead and pop it open so you can see how the light kind of reflects off of that. It's got a, a nice effect to it. It also kind of softens the edges so that when your palms are down on the, the keyboard and you're using it, it doesn't kind of dig into your hands. That's really nice. Uh, it's got two USB-C ports. You can see one on this side uh, next to the standard USB 3.0 port. And then you've also got the USB-C port on the other side. That comes in really handy when you want to say, you know, power it uh, into the wall from one side versus the other. Maybe the cord isn't long enough or you want to drive an external display. It allows you to do that. You can also see that there's a little battery indicator. It's pretty slight. It's just a little, uh, you know, a tiny LED, but it does the trick. Uh, it is on one side though, so keep that in mind. And then uh, swapping around the other side here real quick, you do have a micro SD card slot for uh, storage expansion. And then, hey, what do you know? There's a headphone jack in there. They're still not uh, at the point of removing those from the Chromebooks yet, thankfully. One complaint I do have about the design on this is that the hinges on the back, this one actually appears to be okay. Everything lines up. If you take a look right there, things are just slightly off and it doesn't it, I don't know. It doesn't fare well for the premium quality of the design. I've seen other reviews kind of point this out too. So I do think that this is not an isolated flaw, something to consider. It doesn't really get in the way of using the laptop, but it is uh, a point of contention. Now, as it's open, you can see this has a 13.5 inch QHD plus IPS LCD display. Uh, at 2256 by 1504 has a three to two aspect ratio, which I find to be ample. I'm going to log in here and uh, I find it to be ample for fitting all of my stuff on the screen. I actually prefer this over the wider screen versions of some Chromebooks I've seen. The display is sharp. It's beautiful, actually. It's bright, clear, has excellent viewing angles. As you can kind of see, there's little drop off as I rotate it to the side. Uh, it does lack one very key feature, I think, in Chromebooks. There's no touch screen. <laughs> you can't touch it. It's not touch enabled on this particular model. And I, I feel like that reduces the potential of the Chromebook in this day and age, at least a little bit. Some Android apps are going to require uh, touch typing or, or touch uh, activity with multi-touch. And we'll talk about that in a second, but that is one downside here. It does have a 720p webcam up top uh, for serviceable, I'd say, video conferencing. Uh, the keyboard and trackpad, I feel like, are often very, very weak spots on uh, especially budget Chromebooks. And I'm happy to say that I really am happy with the keyboard. It has a soft click action when you're typing. Plenty of travel for me. I feel like I could type really fast on this. And then the trackpad is Gorilla Glass. It feels smooth and firm. has a nice kind of click action to it as well. Uh, overall, I felt like it was premium enough. It doesn't feel like a toy like some Chromebooks uh, end up feeling. And it does have backlighting, by the way, so you get that uh, in darkness. As for inside here, what you get is an eighth generation in this particular model, an eighth generation Intel Core i5 quad-core processor. 8 gigs of RAM, which I feel like is plenty, 64 gigs of storage, and that is, of course, expandable with the micro SD card slot on the side if you need more than that. Uh, and I did not notice that with uh, the Chromebook 13, 
you know, anything like slowdowns or stutters. It didn't really feel like it was it was catching as I was using, you know, the different windows and everything during my shows, had chat running in one window, running a doc, a Google doc with story links and everything throughout a show. No real slowdowns or stutters, and I'm really happy to see that. I did hear the fan kind of kick in at times. Sometimes it seemed like it was kicking in, and I wasn't quite sure why. Maybe, it, you know, there were processes going on in the background, uh, but you could definitely hear it when that happened. Uh, this also supports 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. Has a 54-watt, 4670 milliamp hour battery, which personally I found very reliable uh, between charges. I was able to get a lot of time through this. They rate it up to 10 hours per charge, and I would say that's pretty uh, relatively accurate depending on how deeply you're using this. As for the software, obviously it's Chrome OS. And I feel like it's kind of a known quantity at this point. If you like Chrome OS, you know why it's good. It's a secure platform, especially for business, which is what this laptop, what this Chromebook is targeting. Uh, easy account access. You just log in and everything populates. All of your account information appears here. It's really nice. It does have the Google Play Store, as you can see down here. Play Store is down. And that means that you can access a ton of Android apps. But like I said earlier... Uh, without a touch screen, that's going to limit you. Some Android apps require touch screen access in order for them to work. And so that's going to limit your access to Android apps. However, having said that, many business apps like G Suite are fine in point and click land. So you're, you're probably going to find the majority of those apps to be fine. Uh, it's just when you get too deep in the Play Store, you might be a little disappointed. This may be good enough for business users, which is who it's focused on. If touch is essential for you, make sure and look at the Acer Chromebook Spin 13, another new laptop that uh, Acer released, a two-in-one -one with a Wacom style support. Uh, stylus support and that starts at $699. So as for the configuration of the Acer Chromebook 13 CB713, it runs $799. Yes, cheaper Chromebooks exist and yes, this higher price will keep some people away. Not everyone believes in the value of a more expensive, more premium design for Chromebooks. And yes, the Chromebook 13 isn't entirely bulletproof either. But for business users, it's likely good enough in most of the right places. And it fares better than most Chromebooks that I've tested. I'm Jason Howell, and you can catch me using my Chromebooks on All About Android and Tech News Weekly here on twit.tv.